Aries, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your, you and yours. How you feeling, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And of course Aries, these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you and leave the rest. Well, the Justice card wanted to pop out even before I started the reading, Aries. Anyways, the point here is, um, well, let's see how you guys are feeling now. My angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for my Aries gang and send them the messages they need to hear the most for their love life. Thank you. All right, let's start your reading, Aries. A warm welcome back to all my subscribers. Thank you for being here once again with me. And Aries, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. All right, Aries. Newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, your mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Aries, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is going to be person A and this is going to be person B. And the justice card is out again. Okay. Uh, bottom of my deck, I have a four of cups. Some kind of separation going on, Aries. Somebody is feeling very discontent, very bored, very lonely, feeling the lack of love in their life. Mm, but uh, they do see their person as their sunshine, their happiness. This is what this person wants and this is how one person is feeling. Lost the love of my life. This is my sunshine. This is what I want. Whereas the other person, well, has kind of, um, kind of let go and saying, hey, there was no balance here. There was no equal give and take. I've already released this connection, Umkara Taro. <laughs> All right. So before I get into the reading, Aries, let's start with your dialogue message cards as always. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then, of course, we'll clarify all these cards. So Aries and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Aries and their person. Aries and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Thank you. I'm going to take a few more Aries from another deck. And uh, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Aries and their person. Oops. Aries and their person. Aries and their person. Thank you. All right, Aries. Good to go. Let's start your reading. The first card here says, You've helped me discover my psychic gifts. Thank you. It's like, okay, I got what I, w I had to learn and thank you so much, I'm gone. Telling you that I need you will be the hardest thing I'll ever have to do. So now somebody wants to say things because they feel they've lost their love, but maybe there's a, some sense of ego and pride saying, hey, how do I come back and eat my words now? I was taught that I had to earn love by pleasing people. The way we are so in sync scares the hell out of me. I'm terrified. I always knew you were my other half. You always know how to make me smile. Sorry for what I have done to you. Karma is kicking my ass now. I'm angry with you, but really, I'm angry at myself. Nothing else matters but you. I keep looking up at the stars, hoping you're looking at them at the same time that I do. You don't have to build an empire alone. Let me build one with you. I've told my friends about you. I'm tired of crying and hurting over you. So maybe it was one person who was crying and hurting and now looks like it's the other one. 
All right, Aries, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading with an angel blessing card as always. Let's see what my angels have for my Aries gang today. So my angels, blessing, guidance, advice, or a message. Well, very, very deep emotions which have not come to the surface yet, it seems, Aries. It seems like somebody has been through the dark night of the soul and it seems the other person could be going through the dark night of the soul. This is like uh, learning a lot of spiritual lessons by through via pain, I, I feel. Like these are dark emotions. All right, so spirit... Let's start with person A's energy. Let's see how person A is feeling. And uh, then we'll move on to the other side to see how the other person is feeling. Like Aries, I said, this is person A, person B. You could be either side. I'm not judging here, okay? If this is your story, you'll immediately pick up which side you're on. So, Ace of Cups in reverse, spirit. Ace of Cups in reverse. Yep, I told you, somebody is in love. They are in love. Maybe they never uh, opened up. They never expressed their emotions. And now that the other person has released this connection, now they are kind of in their emotions. <laughs> now that cup has come out because now they feel the loss of it. Maybe they were just taking from the other person's cup of love and they were hiding theirs. But now that that cup is not available, they are being forced to go, you know, into their psyche and realize that uh, well love is important i miss it so what's the sun card spirit for them person a what's the sun card for you <laughs> ace of cups in reverse again the more the lack of love that this person is feeling the more they are now seeing person b as their happiness they want this happiness back ace of cups ace of cups twice aries in the first two cards right and then we have a king of cups who's finally, I think, realizing there's something called a cup of love. Now that they don't have it, now they're realizing what love truly means. Give me more for the sun card, spirit. What's the sun card in this person's feelings? Ten of pentacles. Okay. 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 This person wants... They, they actually do want to talk, Aries. They want to clear the air. They want to have this happiness. But I don't think this person has messaged yet. Because as much as they want the Ten of Pentacles, they want the happily ever after, they feel uh, things have really broken down between the two of you. Or they feel that their person, whose person B, may not want to work with them again. And... Uh, they also sense that I think person B is exhausted of them. Like, I'm fed up of you. That's what that's what they feel person B feels about them. That, you know, they're fed up of them. They've given up on them. They're, they've exhausted their love completely. So as much as uh, they want this, they want the happiness, they want to know the truth, whether, you know, this is still viable or not. The fear is of, uh, well... I don't know if I should say anything because they are not saying anything. They seem to have given up on me. Okay, so what happened, person A, in the recent past that you're feeling this way? Uh, Knight of Swords in reverse. They, the, there could have been some words spoken here, Aries, which were unforgivable. Uh, Knight of Swords in reverse is like somebody who lashes out without thinking. Maybe not you know, thought of words. It's just that out of the blue, they say something, do something, create a fight. And uh, because of that fight, they feel that person has now chosen maybe another direction in their life and they, they are sitting in a sense of disappointment. Why did, I, why did I do that? Why did I say that? Why did I, you know, choose to behave in such a rash manner? Uh, there's a lot of disappointment in this person's end uh, because, well, strength in reverse spirit. Oh my god, this person is maybe physically ill right now, Aries. Uh, lack of strength and the Four of Cups. Like this is somebody feeling very demotivated, feeling almost tired, exhausted, um, depressed. Why is spirit, why, why is person ill feeling like that? What happened here? Because of this argument and fight, whatever you guys had. So they've been feeling like that and spirit says that's why now their cup of love 
is non-existent because it's drained out completely. This person is now suffering. See, all the cups are upside down in this as well. This is like being emotionally void. No love in their life. Now they're recognizing what they had, the sun, I mean, the ten of pentacles. Yes, this person is... What has happened, Aries, is in the recent past, that's the question I asked, right? This person was emotionally closed off. Like a king of swords in reverse can be a very cutting, harsh, mean, uh, like a statue, stone energy, right? Uh, they really don't care how the other one feels. I mean, this is not good. I don't even want to go on to describing what I feel when I see a king of swords in reverse. And because of that, I think they created very, very bad memories in this connection, a soulmate connection gone wrong. And person B could have stopped, could have turned their back empress in reverse. They could have disrespected this empress, they could have uh, knocked this pedest uh, you know, this empress off her pedestal, uh, not offered anything. In fact, forget offering, this per person could have created competition, arguments, fights and uh, been cutting with their words. I mean, knocking a an empress off her throne is uh, like it's huge karma for that, let me tell you one thing, because the empress is no regular person, right? An empress is a character, masculine, feminine, doesn't matter. Empress is a person who is very compassionate, very loving, who've, who's been through fire, gone through like the four stages of all that, you know, pen, the pentacle and the sword and the cup and um, the wand to combine to become that empress and you don't re reach that level of... Uh, well, being a wonderful person till you haven't been through fire. Learned your lessons. And this person, the king of swords, maybe they were still in their sword energy and they didn't see the value and they could have really hurt this empress. That's what happened in the recent past. Now they're realizing it. So how do you feel about the connection now, person A? Judgment in reverse. Why do you feel the judgment in reverse? Okay, one more. Judgment in reverse. My God. Okay. This person is now seeing the value of person B, I feel. Then they now see that this uh, empress is their unconditional love. This is the person that they want to marry. This is the person who will make a long term perfect partner. Uh, they want to, well, commit now to this unconditional love once again. But they, as see, this person wants to be a, a true match now, King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. Why? Because of this card, unconditional love that they feel for this queen. And they know that this queen also is capable of giving that unconditional love. The only problem here, Aries, is... Uh, they either feel judged now by this empress now or they feel this empress will never give them a second chance because I think this empress has now blocked them off. What they do did to this empress is exactly what this empress could be doing to them and there is a deep fear in that. There's a deep fear, the unknown. This person is like, you can see in this card, the two dogs howling at the moon, crying, howling, like, what do I do? What do I do? I lost my person. So, two of uh, wands in reverse, spirit. Two of wands in reverse. Two of wands in reverse. Yes, they feel this empress has already chosen her own path, already chosen her own direction. They feel that this empress caught them, maybe in a lie or cheating or lying or something. It, whatever they did basically backfired on them because that beautiful empress who was their unconditional love who they see as the queen of pentacles has now picked up a sword against them right so that's the fear that you know maybe they're not like that anymore they, they've judged me they've caught me and as much as i won them back in the same form as you know the loving queen of cups this is how they're feeling this, this queen has now picked up her sword. All right, so what action person A will take? I'll open later, Aries. Let's go on to the other side and see how person B is feeling. So person B 
six of pentacles in reverse what's that for you in your feelings six of pentacles yeah person b says omkara tarot yes this is exactly what happened i mean this card was here on person a's side as well right in the recent past and this is in their feelings they feel that you know person is very immature with their words they hurt me they create fights they breadcrumbed me so badly i mean there was no equal give and take there was no balance all i did was you know sit in my little hermit mode and wonder you know why even being in a connection i always felt isolated so then person b what did you do what are you feeling now four of pentacles in reverse what's the four of pentacles what's the four of pentacles in reverse yeah person b says i release them i let them go at least you know emotionally i'm learning to let, let them go i've turned my back home kara taro on this uh, connection and i'm actually to be honest checking out to see what else is out there i'm checking out my future i'm investing in my future i've i've totally turned my back on this connection i have let this go now so why 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 did you make such an important decision and how person b what happened in the recent past uh hierophant in reverse there was no zero commitment uh clarify the hierophant for me please person b what happened hierophant in reverse hierophant in reverse oh i can understand why you had to let them go okay so person b says well they came to me all sexy and passionate and i saw i thought this was going to be my person this is going to be the person who eventually i'm going to land up with in a beautiful soulmate connection and things did start to move forward in a very passionate way i was excited about moving forward with this person who i thought was like very dynamic and perfect for me but it ended up you know in this they only had passion on their mind they only wanted my attention and no commitment am i right person b yeah they gave me this much this is all they gave me here i was expecting you know four of wands and we getting on to that chariot and you know moving forward in life all they gave me was this little a page with one coin this is the kind of effort this person put in so i guess it seems person b call judgment or just kind of yeah i think person b found out something person b found out some something that person a was up to they picked up on some information maybe person a said something in a in that fight or this, this that anger or something the person b could have been watching a uh, person a and could could have found out something which made them feel well the right thing to do for me right now is that i admit that i'm single and i start to focus on my own life my own abundance my own future and uh, well that's exactly i think what person b did because they're showing up here as a very very successful single individual who's in the 9 of pentacles energy so i think in the recent past person b has been focusing on bringing back justice to their own life and focusing on themselves So how do you feel about this this connection now uh, or this person now person B the fool in reverse person B feels that uh, they got played they got played for a fool they there was no new beginning in the first place um they feel yes they do feel sadness they do look at the past and feel i wasted time i wasted so many months years weeks of my life and you know the cups just spilled over and nothing came of it so there is a bit of sadness at person b side feeling that you know i got fooled or i got i got no new beginning uh, person b says um uh, kara taro yes there was no new beginning here and as much as i feel bad about what happened i've picked myself up and i'm leaving all these eight empty empty cups behind because there was nothing there i'm i'm walking on i'm moving on in with my with my life according to person b right now they feel there is no victory to be had in looking at the past or the past person uh six of wands in reverse spirit six of wands in reverse
Person B also feels, person B also feels that, uh, well, if they do come back, uh, Omkara Tarot, sometimes I feel, because seeing the tarot readings and all the readers are saying, they're coming back, they're missing you, they love you, tarara, tarara. So person B says, honestly, sometimes I do think about it. What if they came back and what if they did want, they say, I'm going to put the work in and maybe now I'm ready, you know, to be, that, give you a commitment and they do apologize. I'm not sure, I'm not sure that they can do the right thing now. I don't want them to fool me again. I've been knocked off my pedestal so badly, I can't risk, I can't risk that they come back and love bomb me and do it, do the same thing again. Uh, justice is in reverse, Omkara Taro. It's like the trust is lost. I don't trust them to do the right thing anymore. So that's how person B is feeling, unfortunately. And I think person A knows that as well. That's why they're sitting in all this fear that my person is not going to trust me again. I've been cut out. So let's see what actions you guys will take now, uh, Aries. I'm going to take another deck uh, for this one. And of course, while I shuffle, you know the cue, right? I'm going to request you, Aries. Please just tap that like button for me. It really helps the videos to circulate, at least as I've been told by YouTube. Uh, but, uh, well, it just makes me very happy to know how many of you I'm connecting with. And uh, Aries, uh, newcomers, when you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. That way then YouTube again can, you know, uh, notify you hopefully when new videos are released. Thank you. All right. So person A, what action are you planning to take? Are you just going to sit in remorse and in your deep emotions and fear that uh, you will not be given a second chance? Will you take any action? towards person B to rectify that. Two of swords in reverse. Well, uh, choice has been made. Let's see what that is. They're no longer in indecision and they're no longer blindfolded. The blindfold has come off. They know the choice that they want to go towards. But what's the action, person A? High Priestess. The Empress. Queen of Wands and the Tower. Oh my God, now I'll have to clarify the Tower as well because it ends with the Tower. A uh, person uh, is at the moment strongly listening to the intuition, I feel. They have made a decision. They realize that uh, this is their person. This is the Queen of Wands. They're probably spying or watching uh, this person be as really beautiful and glowing and turning heads. And the more they're watching, the more they're realizing that this is my Queen of Cups. This is the person I want to have, you know, future with, growth, abundance. I mean, they're seeing person be in the highest level possible. Now, Spirit, what's the tower? What's the tower for person A's action? What's the action? What's the tower for person A's action spirit? Chariot. Okay. Ten of swords and the ace of pentacles. Let's take one more. Ten of wands, death and rebirth and the king of cups. Well, I don't know, Aries. The shocker might be that this person might just come forward. That's the shocker. They may make a sudden decision to come forward saying, hey, you know, let's leave the past in the past. I know I hurt you. Let's end the cycle of pain. And here, let's start again. Let's start again. They, are, they, they can't take this uh, burden anymore of this. Uh, see how these mountains are there. There's like a blockage in their heart. They can't take the weight of this blockage anymore. This person wants to end whatever well has transpired between the two of you and they actually this time they want to come in surrender mode to say hey listen see look at my hands I have nothing in my hands anymore not even a cup of love to give you because I don't know whether you're going to trust this love that I'm offering you I want to offer you a stable brand new beginning in surrender mode let's just start from scratch please and let's see how it goes Hmm. It's almost like this person 
if i just notice that uh, aries they don't have a cup of love in their hand but they have a little bowl in front of them it's almost like putting that cup up there and saying you know please will you take it i'm scared to even offer it to you all right so person b let's see what you're going to do what's uh, what action can we expect from your end towards person a the star in reverse i told you person b doesn't have any hope that this person is being genuine at all person b is to totally given up hope on this king of cups okay so clarify the star for me please person b one thing i have to admit uh, aries i don't know which side you're on but person a is in their fields now that much i can assure you the king of cups has already come out twice and uh, that they are they are they've realized the love at least if nothing else so star in reverse person b what's the action from your end towards person a or otherwise oops no oh, i didn't do this right so i'm so sorry aries i got distracted by this deep intense feeling that i'm feeling when i look at the uh king of cups chariot oh you know what happened here is while well, i was shuff i picked up the cards i picked up the chariot from person a's side it flew out here and because i made such a mess of my shuffling right now by mistake i could have picked up the chariot from okay let's see i'm sure this means something the hierophant six of swords 10 of cups ace of swords Ace of Wands. Ah 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 ah. I don't know. Listen, Person B has got their funda correct. The reason why I think this chariot leaped onto the other side was they may be open to receiving or meeting Person A. because i think heart of hearts i think person b always thought that this was going to be their 10 of cups i think this person is going to be open this i mean i see it from person b's end also that they are ready for a new beginning right uh this is ace of wands ace of swords like okay i'm ready to start again i do want the 10 of cups i want it without drama but you know i'm not sure which one by now person b seems to have uh, maybe spotted other options as well they may not they would be opening to listening they would be opening to receiving hey if you're coming towards me all right i'm ready to talk to you ready to end the fight at least uh, well at one time you were somebody i thought that i could have a 10 of cups with let's talk let's see what's going to happen whether we can have a new beginning or not and then i'll think about it i'm going to give you three more person b what's your action that could be the tower that person a is going to go through because i think person b is going to have a poker face and make person a maybe okay i don't know six of wands eight of wands and the seven of swords with the five of swords i have a feeling person b is in a very very confident place right now they'd be open to communication but it's not like they've forgotten what person a ha was all about or have done to them already so from what i'm feeling is person a if you to get the courage to go to person b they're not going to shut you out or you know bang the door on your face they'll probably keep a poker face to well allow this communication then they may take some time to well maybe think about it okay uh, person b has really wisened up and yes i do see that they could have new options coming in or new people who are interested in them uh that will be i think person a's tower when they realize 
Well, I'm coming in now hoping for a brand new beginning and that's all I have for you Aries. Till next time then, love and light, take care, namaste.